Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm joined with none other than... Jemkin. Or James, whatever. I it's a know. very long name a very... <laughs> from the outback. <laughs> That's all of my names. <laughs> James comes from Australia. Australia. And after I did a fun little bit where I watched some British ads, my friends watched some American ads, James felt like... There are some Australian ads that he needs to see. And I, I genuinely have only seen like maybe one, I think. I, I don't know. I'd what like to see saying? what makes them different. Just a little slip, slop, slip. Slip, slap, slip. I just... <laughs> slip, slop, slap. This is the one. Slip, All right. Slap, slap. So without further ado, let's see what makes Australian ads so good. We'll see. I never said they were good. You never said they were good. <laughs> never... This one's kind of known as the rabbits. The the rabbits. The rabbits. All right. The the rabbits. Dad, why did they build the Great Wall of China? Did you build that, the rabbits? That was. During a time of Emperor Nazi Goring, and uh, it was to keep the rabbits out. There's too many rabbits in China. Okay, now Daniel will do his talk on China. <laughs> <laughs> what? We heard it's an ad for internet. Just it's, tell, it's a Telstra ad. <laughs> what? It's like the most yeah, I saw it said thing. for broadband and I went, wait, this is about yeah, broadband? It's broadband and it's kind of a running theme with Australian ads is that a lot of them you just don't know what they're advertising until like the last two seconds of the ad. So like English ads basically. So yeah, I know English ads are a bit like that as well. Give him good broadband. So, <laughs> Emperor Nazi Goring. But that's like an absolute, there is no good like broadband in Australia, right? <laughs> Oh, no, not compared okay, to Okay, no. Like, <laughs> you think it's good and then you go anywhere else in the world and it's like, <laughs> no. not oh. happy, Jen. <laughs> Keep calm. Count to ten. One, two, three, eight. Wow, nine, she's got good ears. Ten. Eight. Not happy, Jen. <laughs> I love how the audio clips just a little bit. That is like what? one of the most iconic Australian ads. Anyone in Australia could quote that to you. Not happy, Jan. Not happy, Jan. So I thought it meant that Yellow Pages was closing soon. But so this no. is. So if your it's company is yellow... closing, you want to tell Yellow Pages so you stop getting phone calls? Basically, yeah. Or if you want to advertise your company, you have to, I guess... If my company was closing, day. I wouldn't really care about getting <laughs> phone calls because I'm just going to change the number. It's but... just like, you're not going to pick it up, are you? <laughs> Poor Jan. Poor Jan. I've seen the title of this one and I'm excited for Super Juicy oh, it Corn. Kind of, it kind of spoils it because this, uh, this is one of those ads where you don't know what the hell it's about. Ah. Uh, I'm going to make sure I don't look at the titles. Uh, Acting, 10 out of 10. Oh! Uh -huh. <laughs> Marge, Marge, the rains are here! The rains are super here. juicy corn cobbets, specially ground to be so Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Is this corn so strong they're bleeding from they're their bleeding. mouths? It's causing drought. It's so fixing the drought. Look at that real chewing right there. Wait, so that wasn't blood? No, it's not blood. Oh, it was... The, no, it's the not blood. The red, it's so I... To, it's meant to be so juicy that he mistakes it for rain. I literally thought, like, <laughs> it's raining blood. And it's like, just the kids eating look, in the corn. It does look really Look red, how bloody it? that is. <laughs> this whole time, I'm just thinking, like, uh, don't eat that corn. <laughs> it's like Cap'n Crunch. Jesus. The kids are really happy as they're like... They're like, mm. So the super juicy. It's very, very sharp. juicy. Extra sharp corn. Juicy enough to fix the drought, basically. Ah, Super. McCain. You've, you've done, done it, it again. again. <laughs> oh, you've done it again. You've done it again. <laughs> Is this the same brand we have in the, the UK? First, the first, probably, yeah. The first one was just like, ah, oh, McCain, you've done it. Oh, but now he's done it again. But now he's done it again. Every ad after that, he's done it again. There we I go. need an origin story. <laughs> no. no. You'll notice something different about Nicorette gum. <laughs> It now has a deliciously different fresh meat taste. No, no. Nicorette fresh mint gum. Uh. Quitty never tasted so good. Nicorette, Nicorette, you can beat the cigarette! I never knew what this ad was about until I researched it for this video. Really? Because I just remember the, no, Gary, no, no, Gary, just that bit. 
I that, can't imagine that's the being bit. an Australian named Gary that's the in bit. school. That's, just, oh my god, Gary's would have been bullied. No, but also their name is Gary anyway. The but. only Gary in Australia I know is my dad. My dad's called Gary. No Gary, no. <laughs> no Gary, Hopefully you no. Didn't say that. <laughs> no Gary, no. Mobile, Luke Mobile. They'll fix your car. They'll fix your car. They'll fix your car. Australian legend. Wait, I'm sorry. Why did he look so sad? He looks really sad. I look, always thought he looked really angry. Look how sad he is. I always thought he was like the angry kid from TV. He looks the like he's Luke about Ma to cry. The angry Luke Mobile. <laughs> he's on the verge of tears. He's, like, he's like 13, 13. I thought, I feel like that's 30, a, that number 30. is hard to remember. He's probably on like the 30th take. He's just like, I just want to go, want to go home. See, look, 13, 13, 32. Look, he starts happy. That's 13, 30, 32. He's so... <laughs> he's oh my he's God. literally that, about to cry. That just last frame, that last frame he's in tears. Oh. How often are, the, is this, are these on? Oh, that was on all the time. On like every channel. I every assume. from yeah, that's like, I don't know. I don't, can't pinpoint when that ad was because it just feels like my whole childhood. That ad was always on TV. Yeah, but if it's only six numbers, how does that get a call? I don't know. You have to have at least like twelve, right? There are a lot of short numbers. I thought they were just emergencies. It's like you got one 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 well, or triple zero triple, in the UK. Triple, triple oh, zero in Australia. Australia. But in so there's triple zero or emergency lube. You never know. Emergency lube when it hits. 13, 13, 32. <laughs> when you need lube. <laughs> Thirteen thirty. Do you need lube? Banana boat. Banana boat. Banana boat. Banana boat. Thank you. I found that hilarious. I can imagine that being really popular. What's that based on? I would. Mana mana. I would cry laughing. His mouth is a bit unsettling, but it is, yeah. Interesting. I did this actually make you buy this brand though? Oh yeah. There were other brands that were cheaper, but I yeah. actually quite liked banana boat as a kid as yeah. well. I thought they smelled the nicest. The happy little veggie this is the original veggie my ass. Not from veggie, really. Vegemite. Even speed group vitamins. Yeah. There's one thing we all agree on. We love our Vegemite. How is that child doing that? How much? No, that was didn't. not Vegemite. It that, is. It is strong. They put chocolate in that tub. <laughs> There's no way that child <laughs> yeah, went no, delicious. It, that definitely wasn't Vegemite. Loving my B vitamins. There's no way anyone could stick. I mean, there's that's a YouTube someone. challenge, kid. I like that Marmite's advertising is you love it or you hate it. So I can at least feel represented by the hate crowd. But uh, yeah. you guys are like. Babies will eat this. Everyone loves this. There is nobody who hates this. <laughs> because we love our Vegemite. We all enjoy our veggie mic for breakfast, lunch, and tea. Goodbye, child. When it comes to energy snacks, there's no nos and there's no nos. A chemical high, that's a no no. no, -no. An all day glow, that's, that's a no -no. no no. Quick hit is a no no. Lasting energy is a no no. Sugar rush? No, no. No, no, no. Natural no. high? No, no. <laughs> when you need longer lasting energy, reach for nature's energy snack. Is this a banana Stop ad? Bananas. It's just an ad for bananas. Really? It's just an ad for bananas. It's, it's um, just a banana ad. Not a particular brand, just bananas. Get people away from the no-nos. That's a really nice ad. Get people away from the no-nos, get them on the nanas. That's really good instead of having processed food. It's just yeah. strange that we have to advertise like, please eat fruit. Please eat bananas. <laughs> As opposed there, to, I'm used to ads that are like, this had fruit in it at one point. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't give at it some to point, kids. There are a lot of ads in Australia that just advertise types of food, not not brands or businesses. We have that for but, avocado? avocado in, Mexican avocados. In America? Uh, yeah, we have Mexican avocados. Drink more, I mean, eat, eat more Mexican avocados. Why do they do that? I don't understand. Because they're like, uh, you know, avocados taste better in Mexico. Happy milk yeah. comes from happy cows. Happy cows come from California. So you want to get dairy Cal products from California. California milk, okay. I don't know. I, I just know <laughs> the ads with the happy little cows. That was Robert, wasn't it? I thought you two were friends. No, he's a bloody idiot. Don't you dare he's use a bloody words idiot. like that, Michelle. How do you pick up such filth? <laughs> bloody idiot! Why don't you look like...
This is a chicken Kiev ad. What? With a choice of three delicious centers. What? Bloody <laughs> oath. <laughs> what? That's what I'm saying. You don't that know. That would hit me like what, a brick wall. You it came out nowhere. You don't know what the ad's about until it just hits you in the face and you're like, oh, I guess it's about this then. He's a bloody idiot. Chicken Kiev's. I would have thought it was an insurance ad or maybe yeah, something yeah. or daycare. Bloody idiot. Good parents choose chicken kids. Chicken kids. <laughs> safe avoiding pot smoking hippie vegetarians may disagree with me, but they can get stuffed. They know the way to the airport, and if they don't, I'll show them. So the message is clear, even for you backpackers. Roll out the barbie, ensure the gas bottle's filled, stack the fridge full of lamb, and prepare the invitation list. So don't be an Australian. Serve lamb on Australia Day. You know it makes sense. I'm Sam Kekovich. <laughs> we love our lamb. Why? It's just a minute and a half lamb ad. For lamb. We have a banana ad. We have he's, a lamb ad. He's just like some, he's a sports commentator in Australia. And for some reason they just put him on the TV and we're like, can you talk about lamb for a minute and a half? And you guys are allowed to say things like, don't want these pot smoking. Yeah. I guess that's fine. The tone is very harsh compared to what I'm used to. So <laughs> we don't like these vegetarians in Australia. We love lamb. If you have trouble reading, that's something you can fix. Oh. Everyone in Australia knows that number. I hope they call it if they can. That's <laughs> I, I, I've never seen an ad like that. I mean, I guess it's useful. It's just reading and writing. If you want to learn to read or write, call one three double zero six triple five zero six. I did. I just didn't know that was a problem, but I guess it is for <laughs> some areas. It it, so it's just a hotline where you're like, it's just a hotline where you're like, I don't know how to read or write. Can and you, can you help me? But if it's like, what does this letter sound like? I, I honestly, I haven't called it, so I don't. Oh, know, I don't know how it works. Check I don't it. know if any other country does this, but Australia has these adverts that are disguised as like mini review shows. They're like 30 second review shows where it's so clear that they've just been paid to go, look how great this product is. Okay. And there's two main ones. There's brand power and there's Zoot reviews. It, so is it like, is it kind of like OxyClean? Like what's his name? Billy Mays or the ShamWow guy? I don't know if you've seen those. Kind of, but it's like super quick. It's in like 30 seconds. Instead of being like a full infomercial, it's just like it's bang, 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 five reviews. Things. Let's see. Nice editing. It's here, the first paper towel you can use wet to effectively clean. It's Viva. With unique V-shaped ripples that provide absorbency and strength, it's the paper towel that stays strong when wet. Watch this test on a dirty stove. After wetting the towel and cleaning the stove, Viva stays strong and won't break up in your hand. Plus, it's still super absorbent when mopping up spills. Viva say life's be messy. So grab a Viva, try it wet, and test the cleaning strength for yourself. Brand power, helping, helping you, you buy better. <laughs> so, it's not actually the specific ad, because there's like a series of them and they just they change they change the product every month or every few months oh so it's the same exact style but a different so way. it's like it's always do, do, oh do, is do. that brand power helping you buy better is brand power like a supermarket no what the it's just this ad it's just it's just contained to this one ad i'm why and they just get paid to promote a different product every few months oh same with zoot review that's so I straight i thought it was like so it's not for that product it's just they're it's, almost like an agency that like yeah it's almost like its own Thing. It was like they're sponsored. And Tony, you're a busy mum. How do you give your kids a great start to their day? I make sure I well. give my kids a good <laughs> breakfast every morning. Oh, you can it see it's in the past. Oh. What do you think of Sultana brand? Sultana brand is very high in fibre. And fibre is good because it keeps kids feeling fuller for longer. I've compared Sultana brand to other breakfast this cereals. giant shelf of Sultana brand. <laughs> what are these? Really what are they, any of these will do. Brand in the morning, and it's a great fibre rich start to their day. Why is it not called Raisin Bran? Raisin Bran? Because we have... Yeah, the number well, one guess, Kellogg's... Well, raisins are called, uh, it's called Sultanas. Sultanas and raisins are different. But it is Kellogg's. True. I wonder if Australians just use the word Sultana Austra Australians love Sultanas. Chicken tonight. Tasty selection chicken of tonight. Sauces have everybody saying... Chicken tonight. Chicken tonight. Chicken tonight. From the delicious range of sauces made with quality ingredients. Simply brown the chicken, 
Yeah. It's just soft. Chicken tonight. Oh. Chicken tonight. Chicken tonight. Chicken tonight. Can we have chicken tonight tomorrow? Can we have chicken tonight tomorrow? Mum, please. Mum, please. He's got to go. I need. <laughs> this one says band. Oh, I'm excited. I think, I think this was band in New Zealand. Ah. Oh. Bugger. That's not a sweat. Oh. Bugger me. Bugger me. Bugger. Bugger. I just killed that. <laughs> Bugger. 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 Bugger just means frick. Yeah, kind of. It's just like a safe. That's version. not an American or English word. You guys ah, have freak. Bugger. Bugger. Uncle Toby's. Let's snick. Okay. <laughs> Scared me. Real monkey, I believe it's there. Uncle Toby's listening. Listening. Creamy cheese and crispy crackers that taste so good you can't have one without. darkness, smile. James, what the hell? I didn't know that was there. What did you do? I thought it was. What the hell? He's dead. I've come to talk with you again. I don't think this is a real ad! I think, oh my god, no it is you a real- You just got pranked! I only wanted the ad at the beginning, I didn't know it was just edit. Wanted, I just wanted to show less. Snack! <laughs> that was god. traumatizing. Rhonda, yes! Oh, uh, Rhonda's an icon. Rhonda, yes, Rhonda. This is a series of ads. Rhonda! Rhonda. Like Rhonda deserve recognition. Amy's safe driver awards. Now, after 15% discount for drivers. Both hands on the wheel, Rhonda. I know, she's not she's not <laughs> driving safe, is she? The story continues. I've always dreamt of doing something more exotic. And with 15% off my insurance, Amy's safe driver awards helped me get there. I make special drink for you today, Rhonda. Thank you. You look so hot today. Oh. Like a sunrise. You're annoying. I love interest. It's Thank couture. You, couture. Do you remember? Ice on the road, Rhonda. Amy's safe driver mm -hmm. rewards offer up to 15% discount for drivers who don't claim. Where will the same I love Rhonda and Katoot. Sunshine down, down, Richard Brown. Which game can't sit in so hot? No, it's not. So if you take a run or work in the sun, should you sizzle like a sausage? Most certainly not. Be especially careful about small kitties. Just say these simple words. Say, slap, slap. It sounds like a phrase when you say it like that. Slip, slap, slap. In the sun this summer, slap, slip, slap, slap. They haven't explained what we're slipping or slapping or slapping. Oh, we'll get it. They're very slap, blunt, I suppose. Simple. Slip, slap, slap. Slip on a shirt, slap on, wait. Some sunscreen, and then slap, slap on, slap on a hat. And sl no, slap, slap on, slip, slop, slap. So slip on a t-shirt, slap slap on, on some sunscreen. sunscreen, slap on a hat. And then that just transcended the ad, and it just it's just a saying now. Slip, slop, slap. Slip, slop, slap. Slap on sunscreen sounds grim. Slop on some, slop it on. I mean, you guys have worse uh, ozone than we do, so it makes sense that you have to do We it. have a giant hole in the ozone right above us. If yeah. you had to pick one, what's your favorite? I think the one that stuck with me most would be... One, three, double, oh, six, triple, five. I don't oh, remember. Six. Wait, wait, wait. That's to learn how to read. That's like, yeah, read. All right. Reading and writing hotline. Okay. I like that the bugger one was very Australian, like bugger. as much as you could get. Yeah. Not happy, Jan. What was the first one? <laughs> Dad, why did they why did they build the Great Wall of China? And is that just about being a good parent and therefore? No, it's, it's about broadband. It's about. Gosh dang it's, it! It's, it's a Telstra ad. I think I like that it's one like, the best oh. because of how absolutely ridiculous it he is. He would have been able to tell action. his son the right answer if he had the internet. 
Good job, Dad. Well, if you're from Australia and we left any out, uh, tell us in the comments. I'll check them out because these are actually quite fun. Uh, I like how they genuinely felt like American and then it's English as well, but then a bit more sweary. I'm, I'm looking forward to the comments that were like, you missed, you missed this one. And then just me remembering a whole a whole bunch of adverts that I forgot. Yeah, I thought I'd see some like Outback ads. Because a lot of these I forgot existed up until I like started looking for them. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, then they come back and it's all like... When I was just searching Austra like Australian ads like 2000 to whatever year, all these come up and I was like, oh, they're... it's like big nostalgia hit. Well, if you liked this video, be sure to give it a big thumb, please. really helps the channel out. And also, subscribe, ring the bell. I make videos every Sunday. Uh, there's other videos on screen. Wow, can't believe it. Uh, thanks Ooh. for watching. Uh, check James out in the description. Outros! <laughs> See you guys next time. Slap. Goodbye. Slap that subscribe button. <laughs>